Good morning, my lights. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. Happy Wednesday. Guys, today I want to get started uh, using the angelic oracle cards and see if there's a message in here for my beautiful aquas. I'm inspired to do something a little different and start out with this deck. And let's see what spirit has in here for us today. Just hopefully can get five cards out here. Uh, these are big, beautiful cards here. All right, first card up, guys, is contract. Okay, so obviously the contract could have something to do with uh, things going on in the court. Okay, so maybe there's something really huge uh, getting ready to open up to us, this door to spirit. All right, there is a connection here between the uh, courts uh, I feel like maybe something big is about to come out of the courts that are going to affect my aquas, okay? But not just my aquas, okay? In the center, we have uh, some not so good things that have been going on here that have been affecting us all, okay? And then we have uh, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, okay? Who is the protector um, of animals? There's a lot of healing she puts out for animals, plants, and the elements, which are water, um, <clears throat> fire, and wind, okay? So this is uh, a cleansing going on right now by Archangel Ariel. She is uh, helping others, cleaning up our earth right now, the air, the soil. There's a lot going on in this layout, guys, that are going to affect you. All right. We have the adjacent possibilities card over here. So these two cards, I usually uh, feel like they're connected. OK, so some big announcement may be coming out of the courthouse um, that is going to open up a door that is going to open up uh, a lot of uh, opportunity for us. Uh, adjacent possibilities. You could see this card is a lot of windows and doors open. So I feel like something huge is about to open up to us. And when this announcement comes in, um, all these huge things are going to be able to um, reach out to us, reach us and uh, affect us. These open doors and open doors and windows over here are absolutely letting us know <clears throat> that, you know, the magic is about to happen. We're about to start seeing all of these new things and new opportunities and things coming in uh, our door, basically. Okay. Coming inside. Notice with this card, they're not leaving. They're not going outside. They're coming in from the outside. Okay. Okay. So we're about to receive some beautiful things um, that are going to override, overpower what has been going on here, okay? So this is basically our suffering, guys, that we've been dealing with for many, many years, going back thousands of years. This is what is being um, rejected and uh, dismantled at this time. And then we have a reminder that we are protected and we have uh, a cleansing going on, all right? So this is absolutely beautiful. I'm very excited about this, okay? I can't wait till our food is cleaned up. Um, we have fresh food grown from dirt that has not been, uh, you know, toxic toxicized or however you want to put it from all of the uh, pesticides that are, you know, not doing us any good. So, um, you know, this is a different kind of a reading. I am going to go into the regular reading, guys, but I just want to give you hope because, you know, these are the things on the exterior that are affecting each and every one of us. Okay. Now they're saying there's a, uh, here's the man holding the coin, the gold coin. So this is obviously about abundance, your finances, Aquarius. Okay. And then we have the card of appreciation for family. <clears throat> 
And the first chakra, Archangel Michael here, this is more protection, okay? And as we know, Archangel Michael, um, <clears throat> you know, he is basically, he, he protects us, right? He's the angel of protection. And you can call on him when you're needing uh, healing, protection, uh, mostly protection, okay? So if you have family members, you have a home that you want uh, to be, you know, feel like you're being protected, you can call on him. I've called on him, and I've put four angels on each corner of the outside of my home, um, and I've asked him to oversee and protect my home, my children, my family, all right, and my extended family as well. And here I'm seeing patience, okay? So we have... Uh, we have finances here, um, and appreciation. So they want you to appreciate what you have. So in a way they're telling you to stay in a state of gratitude. All right. Enjoy what you have, your family, you have your family's health, hopefully each and every one of you, for those of you who have ailing family members, I'm sending you love and light. And also don't forget that these angels these archangels have healing abilities ask them for healing okay um try it try it and see what happens okay um and then you know be patient be patient guys we have a lot of things coming to us um we know they're coming it's just a matter of time and we're going to go into the regular reading at this point and see what spirit has uh further for us okay so we have um, a new start for my Aquariuses that are feeling stuck, okay? Um, the very thing that you've been thinking about that you've been wanting, and it looks like it has to do with abundance, right? This is giving you a lot of stuck time here, all right? I'm seeing, um, you know, more than one card showing the stuckness. Uh, the card of want is in the center, so this is very strong for some of you. Um, being in the center, the center card we give most credence to. This is, you know, what we're really honing in on is things that you're wanting and needing, Aquarius, okay? So Spirit is saying, uh, get ready for this new start, this new beginning uh, concerning your abundance, okay? So let's go further. All right, this is regarding a feminine uh, one of my beautiful uh, feminines out there, the Queen of Cups, and you are um, very sensitive. You're very powerful. Your powers have come online. You might be seeing things out of the corner of your eye. You might be uh, finishing other people's sentences. You think about somebody, boom, they call you or show up at your door. Things like this. And pay attention to these things now, guys, because... It's happening to most of you, if not all of you. You're just in a habit of pushing it away and not noticing it, right? Just thinking like, wow, you know, that was a coinkadink. <laughs> all right. There are no coincidences, guys. So when you start giving merit to these powers and you start giving merit to the things that are happening, you're going to notice more and more of them, okay? These things are bringing in balance to you. All right. And also your manifestation skills are coming from your intuition. Okay. And you're very, a lot of you are focused on this, especially this particular feminine I'm talking to today. So something that you were confused about for a while is uh, coming to light. Okay. You're very focused on balancing something out that you have been confused about for a while, and you're going to get the information needed to uh, have the full picture, have everything, all the information that you're wanting to get, all right? Because I'm seeing this beautiful victory card here for you over this entire circumstance, all right? And if this is you, please uh, comment below the video and just, you know, in a couple of words, you know, explain, uh, so I know who, who, what situation, um, you're in. All right. So here I'm seeing, uh, intuition. Okay. Um, someone right now is using, using their intuition on whether or not to, 
uh, really come into your authenticity. You're very tempted. You're wanting to be yourself, yet you're still afraid of what others are going to think about you. You know what? I can just give you a little bit of advice. All right. I went through the same thing. And once I became my authentic self, um, I became more so alone. So if you're not ready for that, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you because that's what it entails when you start seeing the truth, you start digging for the truth and you become the truth, your truth. Okay. People, uh, will call you crazy. They'll shun you. They, uh, you know, because you're no longer like them. You're no longer following the sheeple, okay? And you're no longer, uh, they can't, um, you know, they just can't connect to you anymore because you are, you have stepped outside the box. You have stepped outside that third dimension. And now you're moving into the fourth and fifth. And a lot of you are going to be moving into these dimensions without uh previous friends loved ones um family members even uh, husbands and wives okay it's part of what i call the disconnect um that's when we uh ha start having our awakening um and we start realizing because we are coming into our own authenticity that we're not uh, resonating with the people we, we used to resonate with. And suddenly you just come to a realization, Hey, I'm no longer interested in talking to this person anymore. I can't, I, they're not resonating with me. I'm not resonating with them and so on and so forth. So, you know, be prepared for this guys. Um, I, uh, since I have had my awakening, I actually enjoy being alone because what I have learned, um, is that there's a lot, there was a lot of people in my life that were pulling me down that were kept sucking me back into the third dimension, holding me back from my happiness, um, putting things in my head, negative things, uh, putting me down, not, uh, lifting me up. And I'm realizing that a lot of these people are still stuck in the third dimension. They don't know about lifting people up. They don't know how to do that. Um, they're just focused on, um, pretty much they're miserable and they think they're happy. Do you, do you know someone like that? Um, that, that is living a, a very, they're in a non happy relationship because they've told you a million times already, or they're, you know, they hate their job. I, I get it. Most of us hate, hate work, you know, hate our jobs, but you know, when you move out of that space, that third dimensional space, and you realize uh, you're coming into your own authenticity and you realize you are a creator, now you can uh, pull yourself out of that uh, third dimensional thinking. Like, yeah, we all have to work and we just take any job. It's all about the money. And, you know, we are miserable at our jobs, but we, you know, for that paycheck every week. You're at your job eight, nine, ten hours a day, guys, and you're miserable there, some of you, right? Some of you are very happy at work, and if you are, I'm interested in hearing, like, how many of you really love your job, please comment, all right? And if you hate your job, please comment as well, you know? No likey, you could put, no likey, don't like it, all right? But when you realize you are the creator that you are, you can start to create what you want to do by you know, first asking the good questions, like, what are my passions? What am I interested in? What do I like to do? Forget about what everyone else is doing. What is, you know, I'm special. We're all special. We're all unique in our own ways. So start thinking about you guys. And I've been telling you for the past year to focus on yourselves. Okay. You don't need to spread yourself out thin and be there for everybody else until there is nothing left of you. All right. You have to get yourself to a place where you're a hundred percent so that there's something left. You still have energy for other people and it's beautiful to want to help other people out, but you know, not at your expense. So 
again, start to think about, you know, what you love to do. What would you like to do? And maybe the money isn't going to be as important as your happiness if you take a little bit less money, but you start moving toward a career or a job where you're going to be doing something that you actually enjoy. It might be helping others, okay? A lot of you are empaths and a lot of you are going to be moving in that direction as we move toward this new fifth dimensional living, okay? Some of you are asking, what does she mean, fifth dimensional living? All right, well, you know, we see the crazy world right now. You've never seen it this crazy, right? Do you feel like you woke up one day and someone dropped you off from another planet and all of a sudden things were like, overnight like right all of a sudden there was a million weird things going on around you that you never heard of or seen before because <laughs> that's how I feel all right so I'm with you on that but you know that's because you're watching uh something that's been around exploding before your eyes it's being dismantled and you're seeing uh you know I don't want to go too deeply into that but so as we move toward the fourth and fifth dimension, we're moving further away from that. That's dissolving. And, you know, some of you may feel like I feel I'm in two separate timelines. I can look, you know, behind me and, and you know, I'm ba bouncing back and forth, it feels like. So I look behind me and I, I, I get upset. I see all the things going on around me in the world. I, I start you know, doing some research and looking at, oh my gosh, look at this. Who, what kind of people are these people? I never heard of these kind of people before with the, the new things and the new names and, you know, people wanting to not be who they are, who they were born to be. Um, just total craziness, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then, you know, looking in the other um, timeline, I'm starting to see uh, new laws coming into play that are going to change all of that for the better. I'm starting to see um, things changing like, you know, the garbage that have been, you know, they've been putting in our food that's starting to go away now. They're starting to change that. They're starting to ban things that are not good for us that make us feel not good, right? So uh, we're moving toward new opportunities um, and you know, so they're saying move toward the things that you love that, that are going to bring joy to you. Look for opportunities guys. Okay. Use your intuition on maybe, you know, when you want to be authentic and speak your mind and speak your beliefs, you don't have to walk around and continuously, you know, tell people, you know, anything in particular, but you know, there's going to come a time where somebody might be putting you down or saying something to you. And then it's time for you to stick up for yourself and stand up for what you believe in. Okay. Um, and move toward these opportunities that are coming up before you, because, you know, this is a definitely an opportunity for Aquarius, uh, coming up for my beautiful Aquariuses. Um, and you're moving toward those opportunities and this uh, feeling here, the opportunities are going to make themselves available to you. You will have a choice whether you want to continue on this path, which is, you know, uh, walking around uh, with these heavy um, emotions, you know, just weight on your shoulders, feeling like you're climbing uphill with all of this weight every day of your life okay it's now time to change that aquarius all right and it's going to be very easy for you to do so because you're a creator and you're a manifesting ninja okay so let's continue all right i'm seeing some kind of communication coming in um, I'm seeing this Knight of Wands here in the center. This is obviously a very creative masculine. You are a loyal person. You're a good person. You're very loving and you are 
very creative. Okay, I'm seeing some kind of communication from someone who, from someone from the past. This was someone that you were in some kind of relationship with that ended. All right, and I see them moving toward you with something good. All right, so maybe this person has changed in some manner and, um, you know, something that wasn't working before might begin to work out for you now as far as this relationship goes. All right, I'm also seeing, um, hmm, let me look at this a second, guys. This is very interesting. So I'm seeing, uh, all right, so this is for all of my aquas. Um, in this particular le reading, rather, I'm seeing the Justice card, okay? So the devil right here is really an ending to the past. The past things that were making you feel like uh, anxious and concerned. Things in your life that brought in anxiety beforehand. I'm seeing uh, a justice here regarding your monies there's some type of new money coming into you okay and this is also going to bring in healing to my aquariuses so that makes complete sense guys because if you think about it you know having money and feeling secure and you know it would give a whole different vibe imagine what it would be like if you know you had this new money whatever they're saying this is come in and, you know, obviously it would, if it's a justice, they're not talking about, you know, a mere penance here. And over here, they're saying, you know, all of the healing that this is going to bring in. So this, I just heard the word monstrous, monstrous guys. Okay. So that sounds beautiful to me. All right. And here for my aquas. Okay, so what they're saying here, my beloveds, is that you're going to be celebrating, all right? You're going to be getting this um, intense, clear thinking um, about the things that you've been holding on to from the past that have brought in a lot of sadness for you, okay? And this is about to change again this is about good news around money coming in bringing in celebration and a lot of clarity regarding um the past clarity regarding the past holding on to sadness basically this is what they're saying all right guys but that is the reading i hope you enjoyed uh the fact that i changed it up a little bit you know, I just wanted to make it a little more interesting. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, please comment and tell me that you, you like to change it up here and there. And I will do that uh, with different decks for you. Um, and you guys, I hope you have the most wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Till tomorrow, guys.